Hello, once again, everyone. We have a new GameStop exclusive box, the Eevee Illusions Premium Collection. We have all uh, Eevee, including all eight, uh, right? Eight of its evolutions, or is there only seven? I can't keep up. Either way, we have those promos. This is a GameStop exclusive. As I said, I believe we get nine booster packs, as it says right there. As here's a look at the back. However, this does retail for $70 at the moment. We'll see if it goes on sale ever for Black Friday or if they just have to sell it at a loss eventually. But right now for $70, unless you need the promos and you want to get them all in one box because they were released they were released in tins previously, so they are not exactly tough to get. I will say the EV one is very playable. But yeah, for $70, definitely not worth it for nine booster packs, unless you really need the promos. Looks like there is a good assortment of booster packs, and I'm going to very carefully take all of these out and try and not damage any of them. Of course, they are almost bulk promos at this point since they are getting released for like a third time for most of them. But either way, we have ourselves Sylveon 202, Espeon 201, Glaceon 196, Glaceon and Leafeon will be from the V-Star boxes, I believe, as there's a Leafeon 194, Jewel Tion V 151, Vaporeon 150, Flareon 149, those were all decent cards in the past. We got Eevee. This is probably the most valuable one, actually, because it's apparently playable. Don't ask me. I don't know much about the TCG competitive. And then, oh, we got the one upside-down Umbreon, which I think still has some value to it, just because it is, in fact, Umbreon. All right, let's take all of our booster packs out. There they all, all nine of them are, and there is a code card for someone. All right, and let me readjust the camera. Zoom in a little bit. We do have a Chilling Rain, Fusion, Brilliant, Astral, Lost Origin, and that's gonna be the same besides the Chilling, Lost Origin, Brilliant, Astral, and Lost Origin. I think I must book there. Either way, these this is what, what we have. Let's just, let's just go in this random, really random order we have here, starting with Chilling Rain. And regarding the Chilling Rain set, there are rumors swirling that it is out of print, which, frankly, it's been almost a year and a half. It's not exactly surprising that it's out of print, There that there's no more booster boxes. But either way, we'll see if people end up going crazy for that box and if it shoots up to like 150 bucks or something in the future, which I definitely see happening in a year or so. We'll see how quickly it does. We got NK Reverse and a Rillaboom Hollow. I believe there's still one hollow I'm actually missing from Chilling. It is the one of the Cinderaces. Not sure if there's one or two. So one of the starters, unfortunately, I am missing. There is a Fusion Strike code card. Guess they're faced the wrong way. Not sure how they'll... If they'll all be like that for the set, we got Water Energy, Judge, Charge a Bug, Mag Cargo, Dreepy, Snom, Snorlax, Grubbin, Mantine, Reverse will be of a Gligar and a... You can't get it. Eveltal for the rare. Alrighty, on to our Brilliant Stars first pack. Four from the back. Has a start off with a Water Energy Blunder Policy. We got Torkoal, Double Turbo Energy, Cast Form, Chimchar, Ball Toy, Axu, Nose Pass. Magma Basin Reverse, and a Shaman V-Star. Man, I always get the Shaman or whatever the other one is, and not the Charizard or Arceus. The two that you really would like to get. But here we go again with our next booster pack down the line. Do see something poking in the corner once again, so it'll be back-to-back -back hits. We got Lotto Energy, Overquill, Kamado, Stantler, a Bergmite, Hippopotas, Cyndaquil, Scyther, Barboat Reverse, and just a regular Garchomp V. 
for our rare as we move into Lost Origin. And then we'll loop back around with Fusion Strike and go through all of the booster packs again. There's the upside down code card. And we've got a Fire Energy. Machoke, Iskan, Carbink, Squilvit, Phalanx, Poliwag, Growlithe, Oddish, Mimikyu Reverse, and a Barbonical Rare. So we jump back around to Fusion. I'm not entirely sure when this video will be posted, and the reason for that being is, as I turn around the code card so you can't see the color of it, is Silver Tempest is coming out, or has already come out when this video goes live, and so I have to find places to upload the Silver Tempest openings. So those will probably take priority over a random GameStop exclusive box. Regardless, this will be going up at some point as we have a Dreepy Reverse and a non-hollow Gorbis. Down to our final three booster packs. Gotten some okay pulls so far. This pack got, gets completely ripped. So there is a Shinx on the front for me. I do try to keep every Shinx, Shinx and Luxray that I end up pulling. So I have probably way too many of them. But regardless, there we go. Fracture and the Shinx. Farfetched, Execute, Grimer, Clefairy, Clefairy Reverse, back to back, and S Cavalier non hollow rare. Alrighty. Astral. Overall, the last month or so, I've really been slacking on trainer gallery pulls. For some reason, they just really have not been coming to me. So I'm hoping hoping that we can possibly get one in our final two booster packs. But we shall see. We got Petalil, a Stantler, Bergmite, Hippopotas. There we go. Finally got one. But unfortunately, it's just Obama Snow. I already have it, and it is the first one, the first half, not the second half, which are a lot easier to get. But we do have a full art, Hisuian Lilligant V162 for the set. A little off center, but I will I will take a full art with a trainer gallery pull. And now that makes up for most of the box that we still had to make up for. But we do have one more booster pack of Lost Origin to hopefully get us some type of decent pull as well. We got ourselves a Fighting Energy, Gift Energy. There's Obama Snow again, Lost City, Electric, Murkrow, Shuppet, Wurmple, Tynamo. Dugong will be a rare reverse, not too bad, and the actual rare is just an Eriados non hollow. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, Silver Tempest has already released and you've already seen videos, but if not, they'll probably be coming up tomorrow.